In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can use the free frame controls to do a rather unique introduction of a clip in your project. Please look at the following example, and then we'll show you some tips on building something like this yourself. What I've done so far is I've placed a color board on track number one, and then the clip we're going to be editing is on track number two. And then as you saw in the example, we have a title on three and we have music on four. We're going to ignore those for the sake of this tutorial. Our focus will be on track number two, which is our video clip of the man standing around the design table. So let's see if we can make some interesting things happen with this particular clip. In order to do that, I'm going to click on that clip and highlight it, and then click on the keyframe button above the timeline. This will open up my keyframe controls. Now there are a couple that we're going to work on. The first one I want to work on, under the clip attributes option, if I go down to the bottom, I see I have freeform, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Notice there is only one keyframe diamond for all the controls. So they work together. Now what we're going to do is we want to decide when do we want this to be full screen. Well, let's assume I want it to be that way in, say, six seconds. So I'm going to go to my time code, type six, go to the frames, do zero, press enter. It will move my playhead over that far. And then I'm going to set a keyframe by clicking the button next to the freeform area right there. And now this has set all these values to what they ought to be, full screen, centered, in six seconds. Now we're going to back, go back to the beginning of the project, and let's set some different values. I'm going to set another keyframe by clicking on the diamond. And so right now nothing changes, but now what I'm going to do is change the freeform controls. To understand these X and Y, the upper left corner is 0, 0. The lower right corner of the screen is 1, 1, X and Y. And I would say a minus 1, a minus 1, but they go positive values here. So if you're having a hard time understanding why these are what they are, that's how the screen is set out. So what I want to do is I want to change a couple of them. Let's take the upper right one here. Now this is the blue node that you can simply drag on and you can put it anywhere you want. I'm going to go all the way to the opposite corner. Then I'm going to go down to the left node, lower left, bottom left, and drag that one all the way to the right. And I don't have to be perfect because I can make any adjustments here. If I see any of these and I have a fraction here rather than a pure zero or a pure one, I can change it. So this basically makes it invisible, but it will rotate it as well. Let's see what happens when we play what we have here so far from the beginning. Here we are, it's rotating and filling the screen. Now I'd like to do more than that in this particular case. So what I want to do is go to some other keyframe values. I'm going to click back on the arrow to get back to my six second mark here. I'm going to drag up and we're going to change the height and width of this. Okay, the, what I want it to be here, and here I have a slight difference here, I don't think it'll show, but I'll set that to zero. So at six seconds, I want it to fill the screen, full height, full width, centered. It looks like it's not going to let me do that, is it? Because it's not perfect. Okay, so we've got it in the center here, and so let's go ahead and go back to the first keyframe by clicking the left arrow at the start, and let's shrink it down by maybe a third, about a third of normal size. And so it will, not only will it spin now and fill the screen, it will grow. I've got that set. I'm going to go back to the beginning and let's play it and see what happens. I'll enlarge the screen and then we'll enlarge it on your play and see what happens. There it gets bigger, it rotates in. Rather unique way of introducing a clip in CyberLink PowerDirector using the freeform controls that you have available to you when you click on keyframe. 